my arugula salad with a simple dressing. People always eat the same salad every night. I feel like people are used to their mom's dressing and it's that same dressing and that shaker that they eat all the time and people just don't really bust out. They don't get new lettuces and there's so many great greens. Arugula is a really great green because it's darker. It's a darker green and that means it has more antioxidants and it's got a little bitterness and you're supposed to have a little bit of bitterness in your diet, balancing out everything else. And also, you don't need a really strong dressing. I don't do some kind of balsamic dressing or anything like that with arugula. It's really simple. It speaks for itself and you can use just a very simple dressing. So you can use this base and put whatever you want on it. I'll give you some ideas. But this is about six, five or six cups of arugula. It's one of those plastic containers of pre-washed greens. Then I take pear tomatoes, grape tomatoes, and you slice them in half, and I use those. I like to eat a lot of color. It's lycopene from the tomatoes, antioxidants, bright colors. Any food that is naturally bright means that it's got antioxidants and it's good for you. Pumpkins, sweet potatoes, any kind of spinach, greens, tomatoes, vibrant colors. Okay, corn, here's what everybody does when they take the corn off the cob. And they go flying everywhere. Here's what you do. This is so simple. You take the corn and on a diagonal, you cut off and you keep turning. And it gets easier as you turn because then you have a surface. Okay, so that's your corn, which is really colorful. I sometimes put hearts of palm in here or basil. Avocados are great fat, they're really healthy. It's such good fat and you don't need that much of it. And you're gonna cut in here lengthwise and you're gonna turn it. Do the same thing with the nectarine. If your avocado is super mushy, you've just bought it and you open it and it's really mushy, mash it into your dressing and make it an avocado dressing. You always have to use what you have. But if it's decent and you can get some cubes out of it, cut in it and score it. This is the juice of a small lemon. And if you, what you do, you take the lemon, squeeze it over your hand, and it's cleaning your hand. This is like literally cleaning your hands. I always do it after the garlic oil. That was about one teaspoon. That was about two. And then I like to put a little honey sometimes. Just a tiny little. And by the way, this might even overdress that salad. Go very, very lightly. Salt and pepper. Always salt and pepper the greens. Not just, not the dressing. You just have to. Okay. Okay.